Hi everyone and thanks for joining me on your workout today. Today's Pilates video is a full body flow where we're going to move from one exercise to the next trying to put them all together. It is based at an intermediate level so I wouldn't say it's suitable for those that have never done Pilates before but it's good for those that just want that extra challenge with things today. So I hope you enjoy and let's get started. We're going to begin down on the mat here. We want to be in our neutral position so have your ankles and knees about hip distance apart. You want your pelvis level at the top here and just your natural um, curve at your lower back. Let's engage your centres and just place your hands by your sides. Let your shoulders fully relax down onto the floor and the back of your neck should feel nice and long. So with your eye gaze looking up to the ceiling, we're just going to gently roll through the spine, peeling it up lifting towards the top of our bridge and then rolling back down again. Bridges are all about smooth control, flowing up, pausing at the top here and flowing back down again. You want to feel yourself peeling the spine bone by bone off the ground, inhaling at the top and then exhaling as we roll back down again. And just use each of these movements to really feel like you're activating in your centre and we're keeping it active all the way throughout. On this next one, we're going to come and hold it at the top. So hold it here, make sure that we're working strong through our centres and as we lower back down, we're going to float the arms overhead. Breathing out as we move, inhale at the top and breathing out as we go. So still keeping that control, that steadiness all the way through. And just really letting your body do the work for you rather than pressing the hands into the floor. The shoulder blades want to stay gliding along the mat. We don't want to feel them lifting off. On this next one, we're gonna come up and hold. Take your hands to the floor to steady yourself. Now keeping the height of our pelvis, we're gonna lengthen one leg away and hold it here and then swap over, really aiming to keep these hips level at the top. We're gonna take two more, breathe out, breathe in. One more and then we're gonna roll all the way back down again. Let's do that one more time. So rolling through your bridge, get steady at the top and then extend. Really use the supporting leg to push yourself out of the floor. So lift through that leg to stay high. And use your breaths to help you, especially at these longer holding points. And then roll all the way back down again. We want to come down and reset into neutral. So level across the hips with just your natural curve once again. We're going to do a double leg stretch. So let's bring the arms above the head here and just relax the shoulders into the floor. So centre engaged, strong core. We're going to float the arms overhead and lengthen a leg away at the same time. So we want to create long length through the body, but really making sure that our core stays engaged and also that these ribs stay down. Breathing out, breathing in. So think about stretching yourself from fingertips all the way to your toes. Your eye gaze is looking straight up to the ceiling and these arms are really nice and relaxed. And as you lengthen away, we want to feel like it's your core area that's pulling everything back to the centre. Lower back position should not move at all. We're going to take two more and we're going to stay lengthened out on this last one. So from here, just extend out that other leg here and just make sure that you still feel like you're in your neutral here. Let me just shift back a little bit. So stay in your neutral. We're going to come into some roll ups. So deep core engagement down here. Inhale and as we exhale, we're going to roll all the way up and over those toes. Sit lovely and tall and then roll yourself down again slowly as you can. 
So this is really all about your core strength, not using momentum, not letting yourself just fall back. So go super, super slow. Good. On this next one, we're going to stay at the top. So come all the way up and over and stay here for a moment. Now relax your shoulders. As we lower down this time, we're going to take a little pulse. So come back to lower now, hold it here, and we're going to pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and let it go down. Nice inhale, this time stopping on the way up. So come up just here, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now come all the way up and over and lower back to the start, all the way down. Inhale, last time, exhale. Up and over, sit tall. And this time we're gonna lower all the way back down, keeping your hands by your side this time. We're gonna fold those feet back in and just find your neutral position again. So level across those hips, lower back just neutral. We're going to do um, a roll up from here again and we're going to come into a teaser at the end of it. So from here, inhale and exhale. Come all the way up and then we're going to sit tall. Lower down. Take your arms overhead this time to create some length in the body. Exhale. Sit tall and lengthen. So really trying to go from movement to movement using that core strength. Inhale, exhale. Get all the way up and lengthen. Now if you can't get your legs to here, just fold them in and sit tall here. This is a little bit more friendly on those hamstrings if they're feeling a little bit tight today. Inhale and exhale. Sit tall, lengthen the head, lengthen the legs. Lower down last time. Inhale, last time coming up. Sit as tall as you can, chin lifted, reach your fingertips out in front of you, squeezing those legs out straight, hold it here. Lower down and just take a little forward hug. We're gonna lengthen those legs out long. We're gonna take a supine plank. So bring your hands just a little bit further back shoulders draw back behind you and we're just going to lift those hips up into the air so really lifting through the pelvis shoulders are drawn back and eye gaze looking straight ahead just take an inhale and exhale and just trying to stay here and hold it stay strong if we can so here we're working through our core we're working through our glutes underneath and our whole upper body is working at the same time one more breath and fold. And let's just take a final forward stretch. We're gonna lie ourselves back down again. So fold the knees in. Let's take a roll down with control, super slow till we reach the bottom. Now from your neutral position once again, set at the pelvis, set at our lower back. Let's take the arms out wide. We're going to work the oblique muscles now by coming into a hip twist. So we're going to bring the knees and feet together. We're going to roll the knees over to the side as far as you can go. And then tightening that core, we're going to bring the top half over and then spine stretch this top half out. Engaging your core to bring those knees back to the center. Let's roll to the opposite side now keeping that strength in our centres. Arms, palms touch, just moving the top half of the body here and then using that core to come back to the centre. So this sequence is really, really nice to get the obliques working, but also to get the top half of the body, this thoracic spine, stretching out for us. And again, breathing out folding over and then stretching out that top half. Core active to come back to centre. We're going to take two more. And it's a really nice one 
just to get the whole body working for us. Last time. And then pause in the centre. We're going to get ready for some abdominal preparations here now. So these are like small sit-ups. So we want to have, again, that little space under here and our hands by our sides and shoulders are just relaxed. We're going to take an inhale and as we exhale, we're going to lift, reach towards your toes and lower back down again. So we exhale on this lift and we inhale, lower back down. Now, if your neck doesn't enjoy these too much, support yourself with one hand around the base of your neck here. But if it feels fine, let's have those fingertips spreading wide by your sides, getting that squeeze over our centre as we lift and lower. Exhale, reach long and inhale, lower down. So these ones should feel like you're getting that good abdominal burn as we work through those muscles, really isolating them in this position here. And I find the breathing on these ones are really important to get that exhale and inhale. Last one. And finish here. We're going to come around onto all fours now. So let's just take those arms wide and we're going to hip twist once more to the side and fold over. And this time come all the way around until you're onto your hands and knees. So for here, you want to have the knees just underneath the hips and have the hands a little bit further forward than your shoulders. Really spread the palms wide so that you've got good contact on the mat and the shoulders away from the ears. And you want that sense of lift through the chest, through the arms. We've got our centre here engaged and our eye gaze is going to look straight out in front of us. So with your toes curled under, let's take an inhale. We're going to exhale, hover and stretch through to here coming into a high plank position. So this is really good just to warm up that upper body and get the whole body working in sequence with each other. So we just want everything to flow, everything to recruit and kick in as we're going through. So on this next one, we're gonna hold the position. So come through to here and hold. Really push your hands out of the floor. Take one hand to the center of your mat and we're going to rotate round into a side plank position. So you really want to lift this lower side and stay strong through that shoulder. So it's pushing you away from the floor. Let's come back to centre, hold it strong, move the other hand to the centre and twist away. Lengthen tall through this arm and keep pushing. So really lift up through this side here. So we're breathing in. We're breathing out. Come back to centre. We're going to do that again. Let's rotate and grow tall and really open your chest up to that ceiling. Strong through your shoulder and back to centre. Last one. Hand to centre and rotate. Create length and really lift that lower hip up from the mat. Come back to centre. Now stay here. Let's just stay strong a little bit longer. We're going to stay long and we're going to bend at the elbows to softly lower to the floor. Let's come into a cobra to stretch out. This is a really good position to take at any time of the day. Our bodies never really get into this nice position of extension. We spend all day bending forwards but never getting this length through the spine. From here, let's take it into a child's pose. So just lengthen out the top half, lengthen the hips over your heels and exhale. And then we're gonna come round just to face the front and we're gonna take some side stretches to finish off. So have your feet just offset. We're gonna lengthen nice and tall. And we're just gonna take this arm up and over for a lovely mermaid stretch. Really open up that side and then switch over. Let's fold the feet the opposite way round and we'll do the same this way. So starting with this arm, come up and over and to the other side. 
And that's us done. Thank you for practicing with me today and I hope I'll see you with some of my other videos soon.